Good morning. Welcome to Federal Government College, Port Harcourt. Subject, Cultural and Creative Arts for JS2. Topic, Printing, presented by Ms. Six Ozibo LN. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to a state the meaning of printing, list the types of printing, mention the materials used in printing, state the uses of print work. Introduction. This is the technique of expressing ideas, activities, or emotions in word or pictures on any possible surface through manual or mechanical means. Such surface can be fabrics, paper, rock, wall, wood, plastics, etc. Printing was at one time exhibited in an ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia where fingers, leaves, hunting implements, implements were printed. The Chinese at about 594 AD began the idea of carving designs and letters on block of wood. Printing press has its root in Germany. Yeah. We are talking about printing. Trying, I'm trying to introduce you to the word of printing. Printing can be manual. It can be mechanical. Mechanical are the ones we go to printing press, studios to print. While the manual ones are the ones we use our hand to do. You can stencil it on the pop, on a paper cardboard. You can print on your fabrics, that is your materials, clothes, polos, t-shirts, wrappers. You can also do it, print on a wood, plastic, and so on. Printing started from ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, where fingers, leaves, and hunting implements. Yes, they use printing to communicate to one another. They use, during that time, because of civilized, there was no civilization, they use printing to communicate. You can print or draw your machete, carve it out, use one to print so many. Printing is making original. When you get an original copy, you use that copy to produce many more copies, thereby, thereby making out extra copies from that one original copy that you made as an artist. You can draw an image and you wanted to have it like 10 copies. You print it into so many places on your flat surface to get what you want. Printing can be from your well, cassava. You can cut out cassava and print to make a design. You can use your footwear, your silpas, print it out, cover cover the back with your poster color and print it 
on a flat surface. You can also use your leaves, the leaves we see outside. Cassava leaves, your mango leaves, you can use it, turn the back, not the front. Turn the back, apply your poster color and print it on your cardboard. Printing can be done on a nylon. Like if you go to some shopping malls, when they want to package your shopping or what you bought, they use customized nylon showing their, their name, the name of the shop and so on. They are all printing. Printing the Chinese began the idea of carving designs. Yes, they started carving their design. You know, the, 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 the Chinese, they are very intelligent. They carved, then dab it on the paper or letters on the block of wood and print it out. You can use print works for many things. We Printing press has its origin in Germany. It all started in Germany. The printing press, that, that was where the first newsprint was printed. The newspaper, it started from Germany. And so on. From there, others started following suit. Then, the meaning of printing. This is a technique through, through which an artist creates copies of original work, especially from a relief surface which bears an image, a design, and letters. Generally, printing, printing can be made in different ways example leaf wood block etc like i said during the introduction you can use many things to do your printing and we know that printing just like when you go to your um you have a copy of maybe a speech that you wanted or you want people to hear about, you go to the printing press or photocopy place, they will make from that your single original copy, they can produce more than thousands. They can produce thousands of copies from that original copy the artist made. Likewise, if you want to print something, you can go to, or you can stencil something, print out many copies from it. Like the signposts we have, after stenciling, stencil is carving of paper. That's what stenciling is, it means. You can, from that single or one cup, from that first copy that you made out, you can use it to print as many as possible. So this is an art which an artist creates copies of original work from a relief surface. It could be on your paper, like I said, it could be on your white cloth that you want to print out it could be on nylon paper it could be on anything you want to use then we'll move to we have three types of printing one is intaglio second one is relief the third one is planography. 
Intaglio, design or images are engraved on the surface of block or linen. Then ink is applied on it. Place your block or lino on the prepared paper for printing and a little pressure is applied. Then the paper is gently removed and the image would have been printed. What this is telling us is in this type of printing, you engrave, you carve in. You carve in. Then you now apply ink on it. Place the block on the lino or, or the surface that you want to use. That is the paper you want to use for printing. Then you apply a little pressure. When that pressure is applied, that thing that you have engraved or you have carved in will print out on the surface that you want it to be. Just like our banners, our signposts. We are talking about the manual. We are not talking about mechanical now. We are talking about manual. Like your signpost, after carving out what you want to print on that signpost, like you want to write Federal Government College, you carved it out, then you place it on top of the surface you want it to apply, uh, appear on. You now dab your ink with your foam. Then dab it on that carved cardboard. Then what you have written, the federal government college that you have written or you have carved out will appear. It will be printed out. Then the, so the second is relief. Unlike the interglue, the design or image are raised on the surface of the block. After the application of the ink, the block is pressed against a spread paper and a print is made. Simple. This one is a typical example of your stamp, the stamp you stamp, like if you go to the principal's office or the VP's office, you want them to put the school stamp, they will just apply the ink, press, or rather they will put ink on it, the school stamp, stamp your paper, your whatever document you want them to help you to stamp. Then that one is relief. You are, instead of carving in like the intaglio, this one, you are carving out, you raise it up. You raise it up, it protrudes, it protrudes, it's not engraved in. You raise the carving up, you raise the surface, the, the, the image that you want to, 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 use, to use or to print, you raise it up. Then put your ink, then you stamp. The print is made. It's as simple as that. I use that stamp, ink stamp as an example, so that you will understand. Then the third one, the third one, the planography. This is a bit advanced because it involves the use of mesh or silk screen and lithography photo, chemical and light equipment are needed to print images on paper, nylon, cloth, wood, metal, and plastic. It is a bit advanced because this one undergoes a lot of processes. It's not what you would just do like that. So in planography, 
you want to print something on t-shirt like um obituary t-shirts okay let us not use obituary you want to print something maybe there's uh, somebody that is celebrating birthday you want to print something happy birthday at the back of the t-shirt you will go to studio just like when we are doing the photographs now it's, it's all about selfie this one you use your phone your phone to snap during our own time you go to the studio you snap they will wash it will undergo like they will put it under light wash it out for you this is exactly how this one works after drawing or arranging what you want to print the image or the pictures or the letter letters that you want to print out you go to the studio they will transfer it to the silk screen that is it's is a it's a material very silky they will transfer the image on the screen the silk screen then when you come back you set your clothes or your fabrics or your nylon or your wood place it on the table then you place that silk put your ink use your squeegee that's what we call squeegee you use it to spread to spread the ink then you remove the silk screen your image is printed out as simple as that that is planography it's a little bit advanced then we'll move on to our materials materials used in printmaking you have our paint we we'll call it ink your paint for the print printing you have your razor your razor blade you use it to cut out if you want to stencil your paper or whatever you use it you have your scissors also to cut out your fabrics you remember what fabrics is all about is another name for clothes it's one of the materials then the cardboard paper the cardboard paper you can use straw paper you can use cardboard paper sugar paper depends on what you want so the cardboard is for your cutting that is if you're doing the lettering then you have postcard colors because we are not going to do the mechanical type of printing we are doing the the manual one so we are using poster color as students and you're printing in your sketch pads so there's no how what i will touch it to wash it off but if you use poster color to print on your nylon, you can't even use it if you use poster color on your nylon it will wash off it will not even print well if you use poster color on your material it will also wash off so the poster color is for your sketch pad then foam or rag for dabbing this foam you cut out a little bit of foam use it to collect ink and dab on what you have stenciled you have other things other materials then use this of print works print works can be used as souvenirs you know what souvenirs your gift items it can be used for souvenirs if you go to a wedding they will the 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 couple will um, give people gifts you will see that their name or their names are written on that gift in two years that time if you bring out that mug or whatever they must have given you you will remember oh i was in their wedding 
I was in their wedding. You will even remember the date and everything. So one of the print works, one of the uses of print works is souvenir, then publicity or communication. The second one for publicity or communication. You can use it to advertise like in our school gate now. If anybody is passing, maybe you are inside the car, you've not been to FGC before. Immediately you get to that gate, you look, you turn and see the 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 signpost. Oh, this is so this is where FGC Port Harcourt is. So it's for publicity, it is for communication. Nobody told you, you've read, you, that is the post or the post have communicated to you that this is where FGC is. It can be used for money making. It can be used for money making. You can print out something, sell to people or the person that owns the studio that you went to print do your print works is making money so it gives you money then the the fourth one is employed men employment it can make you to be self-employed it can make you to be self-employed like after your school, your work, instead of say, staying at home, you can say, ah, let me hustle, let me do this. If somebody is, maybe a cousin is doing a wedding, you say, ah, auntie, I can print your card for you. I can do this for you. I can even do the sovereignness for you. Just give me money, I will do it. They pay you, you do it. You have been self-employed instead of being or staying at home, doing nothing. Thank you. This is where we come. This is where we end today. Thank you.